we'll just have one oscillator for now. And we've got, you've got your basic shape. So mm -hmm. you've got, that's a sawtooth, which is one of the most common shapes. This is a sine wave. So that's good for bass. It doesn't have overtones. So it's not very, it's hard to hear. Yeah. S square. Mm. Or noise, which is. So we'll just keep it to, to that. And then basically, I'm going to raise the resonance a bit. If you listen to this sound, partly there's a bit of reverb there. Yeah. I can hear, which is slightly annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> but if we want to basically recreate that sound, so this automatically, this is being affected by an envelope. What that means is it's moving. So let me just find the envelope. There we go. But basically, you click the sections to get more information. Um, so if I click the filter, this brings up in the here, this is the filter envelope. Yeah, okay. Okay. So at the moment, and the amount the envelope affects the filter is an envelope. Quite often on a synth, it'll be next to these uh, envelope, uh, okay. envelope amount. So if we do it more, if we do it none, and there's okay. no movement to it, so, so we can move the filter, but basically what it's doing is going, we're, we're, we're making it, so the envelope, so let's, let's put it back on, so this has got a fair bit of, it's like the filter is letting in a, a fair bit, quite high, but then very quickly bringing it back down. Okay. So to recreate that, if we... Some of this again. If we, yeah, let's give it, let's say 10. It's probably a bit much, but it's too slow. So the first part is the attack. So that's like the f the first part of the of the sound. So if you have it on zero, it'll be quite, oh, five is a minimum. Okay. But if we increase it, and you can see it here, it's a nice visual representation. Yeah. You kind of hear that kind of progression a lot of the time within a track, don't you? Like yeah. sounds moving yeah. like that on purpose. And that's something yeah. really good to do in your arrangements. It really brings them alive. Mm. So in this, the decay I can hear is quite short. So if we go into the decay, that's the second part of the sound. Yeah. Basically. Maybe, uh, okay. Maybe yeah. this is stayed. Yeah, so the sustain is also quite down. Right. And the de decay may be a bit... Is the sustain the, the last part of those three points, basically? Is the sustain yeah, the, the third absolute point? last okay. part is the release. Oh, okay. So if I go to the amp, so this is this is for the filter, this is for the amplitude of... This is just the sound. Mm -hmm. So if I increase the release a lot, you'll hear it. Yeah. So that's really long, that's 15 seconds. Yeah. So yeah. if we go back to the filter, um, I'm just going to take off some of that resonance. So that's very short decay. We need to lip, let a little bit more in. So we're getting a bit closer. Probably it's a different, it might be a different waveform or something. I mean, it can be tricky to, my synthesis isn't so good that I can just necessarily copy that but we can we can get close i mean let's try a square wave and then i'm gonna reduce the release on the amp and you can that's sounding just... that's sounding closer still a lot yeah. closer yeah and then if we have more envelope it'll go higher and if we have less Okay. So that's getting there, isn't it? Mm. But you can hear the sustain is actually really short on this. Whereas here it's quite long. It's like the brew. So if we re reduce the sustain a bit. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the amp.
and then to the envelope. Maybe a bit less envelope even. 